In this video, I spoil literally everything that happens in Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. You have been warned. So at the time of making this video, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands has been out for about six hours. So naturally, it's time for me to do a one life. The rules are simple. If I die, I delete the character and restart the game. I must play on the hardest difficulty at all times. I must play in single player at all times. No using the stash or lost loot machine and I can't leave the game if there are red dots on the minimap. I started my adventure by creating my character. I chose Graveborn because his use of dark magic will hopefully make him the tankiest of the six. Now to choose how my character will look. Beautiful. Never have I seen a more handsome adventurer. Tina banned Fret and Valentine for making characters, so they're gonna be my advisors and help me in any way they can. Turns out them helping usually involves complaining, fighting, and pissing off Tina. I entered the Snoring Valley and found a stabber. I immediately tested it out on some nearby crabs and, uh, yep, it stabs. Then I found a shooter. It shoots. I saved the one remaining villager from a horde of skeletons and she told me where the Dragon Lord is buried so I can stop some skeleton guy from bringing him back to life. He's buried in a tomb within a crypt. Everyone thinks this is a great hiding spot, and I might agree if I knew the difference between a tomb and a crypt. I fought my way into the crypt, or the tomb, and fought the first boss, Ribula. Heh! <laughs> Get it? Ribula! Cause he's a skeleton! I killed him and stopped the Dragon Lord's resurrection. And with that, my one life is complete. Fuck. Well, son of a cunt. The Dragon Lord teleported away and began a massive invasion of Brighthoof. You know, for an immortal, this man wastes no time. It took him, what, a few hours to raise a massive skeleton army for this? Credit where credit's due, the Dragon Lord is efficient. I fought my way through an army of skeletons, destroyed some catapults, and made it to the city. There I fought more skeletons and fucking wyvern bombers. I cleared out the city and met Queen Butt Stallion. Her magnificence. It just washes over you, man. She's beautiful. In order to make the city not look like shit, I need the Sword of Plot. Sorry, the MacGuffin of Souls. Sorry, the Sword of Souls. I made my way to Shattergrave Barrow and met- Hey, you little cutie idiot! Wow, that voice is atrocious. God damn it, she didn't die? This is gonna be a whole thing, isn't it? I fought my way through even more skeletons until I ran into that bitch again and killed her. Just when things were looking rough, Butt Stallion came in and saved the day. Where the fuck were you before? I read the Fate Maker's Creed. Fate does not divide us. Fate brings us together. What is this sappy bullshit? Anyway, I made my way into another crypt, uh, or, or tomb, I'm not sure which. Maybe both again. And, uh... It's because I made fun of the fate thing, isn't it? Eh, whatever. I started my adventure by picking the Berserker. He specializes in ice and melee. Ice damage increases melee damage, so this could potentially be a great... I started my adventure by picking Graveborn again, and I died farming a random encounter. Okay, new plan. This clearly isn't working, so I'm gonna switch things up. So I started my adventure by picking Graveborn again. Did I say switch things up? I meant try the exact same thing over and over again until it starts working. I fought my way to the Zomboss once again, and this time I didn't get bodied by that badass skeleton. It's boss fight time. Well, that was easy. And just like that, I got the MacGuffin of Plot. God damn it, this bitch is still alive? You know what, you can have the fucking sword if it'll shut you up. Oh. Well, that works. I went back to town, stabbed a rock, and saved the day. Oh shit, I'm gonna be a knight? Ah, uh, fuck. Does this mean I'm not getting knighted? Hey, ask him if we're still getting knighted. Fred, we're in mourning! Nah, get out of here, Valentine. It's an important question. Only our queen had the power to bestow a knighthood. Uh, fuck you and your formalities, Paladin Mike. Well, I need to sail to the Dragon Lord's Pyramid, so I need a boat. Oh, God. 
She is gorgeous! Before you cast off, you must get the ship blessed by a bard, or you'll be pulled down to a watery grave by Drill, whose chains are the sea. What? But we're so close to taking off! I don't want to deal with sea curses! That's just how it works, man. Gotta follow the rules or get cursed round. Well, I'm off to get the ship blessed by a bard. I ain't about to fuck with a sea curse. But first, I think it's about time I start farming. I'm gonna go back to the Zomboss and kill it a few times. Okay, maybe more than a few times. I fought my way through a forest of mushrooms and skeletons and met the Barbarian Torg. I love you, Torg. His magic loot isn't working, which means he can't bless the great ship Balsanya, so I need to help him clear out the undead from the forest to get the loot working again. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm going on an adventure with Torg, so I don't care. Together we cleared out the skeletons and made it to the source of the corrupt energy, or whatever it is, the Banshee. The Banshee had me play a rhythm game and then I murdered it to death. With the corrupt energy gone, I freed the Fairy Punch Father. Oh my god. I love this game. The Fairy Punch Father fixed Torg's loot. Zippy, zippy, pussy, and we went back to Brighthoof. Well, Torg, it's been fun, but I need to set sail now. So just bless the ship and I'll be off. I see the issue. Your party is divided. We can't cast a blessing with these vibes. We need a jam session. What? Lay down a beat! I have no idea what's going on right now, but I fucking love this. Vibe check! Transpose your feelings into beautiful music! The vibes! They're too powerful! This is the blessing! It's a blasting! I cast magic! That's all! Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Well, that happened. Torg finally accomplished his dream of blowing up the ocean and also gave me the ability to multi-class. I chose Spore Warden as my second class so I could have as many companions as possible. I made it to the Wargtooth Shallows and met Bones Three Wood. You got it, Fret. Oh, it turns out he's a friendly skeleton who can never die because he was cursed with plot armor. Fucking wish I had that. To get past the gate, I'll need to take out the pirate Lachance. Without Three Wood's crew, I don't stand a Lachance. I'm sorry, let's move on. I got his crew and killed Lachance so hard that he and Three Wood fell in love. I ventured to the Fathomless Fathoms and met Kassara. What are you doing down here, smooth skin? That's probably racist. Okay, the next person to say skin is spontaneously combusting! Well, I better not say sk uh I better not say that. I'm allergic to burning to death. What devil tongue is this? Yeah, this is some cult shit, but honestly, I trust Kasara. She wouldn't steer me wrong. Enter the temple huh. of sacrifice. Why do I get the feeling we're the sacrifice? I don't see what could possibly make you think that. Right. But all the fish died when we blew up the ocean. Uh, Fine! Then there's one in a chest right in front of you! Fred! Stop pissing off the bunker master! You are just asking for a giant monster to come out of nowhere. Something about her just makes my <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It makes my go grow. Chill the fuck out, Valentine. Be careful. Well, I killed all of Kassara's friends. May I have a hug? 
It has been so long since I felt the warmth of another on my skin. Ah, oh, shit. Oh. You said the S word. No, 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 she didn't. She super did, and you said. I know what I said. Oh, bye. Spontaneous combustion. I never saw the sun again. Glad it wasn't me. You didn't really need to show her off. Yes, I did, because you made me. And now I have to throw out this whole story I had ready. And, you know, she had a troubled past and a yearning for friendship and a whole redemption arc. And now it's gone. I'd just like to say I was on board the entire time. Fine, you know what? You wanted to fight? No, I didn't. Oh, dear God. No, that wasn't that bad. Oh, God damn it, he's back. Well, that was stressful, but I made it out of the fathomless fathoms physically unscathed. Emotionally, on the other hand. It's just, if you didn't like Sora, then you probably don't like me, and, and you're gonna leave, and I'm gonna be all alone again. Very scathed. Now it's time to go to Karnok's wall. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 This is so much cliffs! This is where I die, isn't it? Cliffs follow me everywhere I go. I can't escape them. At least there aren't cars in this game. I met the Wastard and he told me to do some something so I can make a skull and elevator. I did it. Holy shit, I actually made it through the cliff level without dying. Time for a boss fight. God damn it. I made it through my worst nightmare just to die like this with the only skeleton running behind a wall where I can't- Oh shit. This spell might be busted. Nah, probably not. I killed the Wastard and learned how to make walls not be walls anymore. Nice. To get to the Dragon Lord's Fearmint, I need to make a bunch of walls not be walls anymore. Easy. Hey, I, I just want to say that I love you guys, and I'm having a great time playing with you. Ah, oh, Tina, so are we. So, uh, don't hate me? That can't be good. You hear a familiar whinny, and for a moment, you feel hope. It's like a dream. But... This is not your queen. It's a nightmare. Tina, what the fuck? <laughs> My queen! This great way. Good God, that was rough. Those scrolls were prophecies. Oh, I'm getting some Dragon Lord backstory. What she did to me. What she's doing to you. Nah, fuck that. Moving on! And just like that, I made it to the Fearmid. All I have to do is fight through an army of skeletons and fight the Dragon Lord. Level 31! Every other enemy scaled to my level. Why the fuck are these guys six levels higher than me? Okay, well, I killed the skeletons in that area, but I'm getting the fuck out of here. I think it's time to go back to the Zomboss for a little while. Okay, I got to level 31. Time to go back to the Fearmid. All I have to do is fight my way to the Dragon Lord and I'll beat the game. As long as I don't do anything stupid, I should be fine. I can probably make that jump. I did not make that jump. Alright, I made a new character and died to the Zomboss, and then made a new character and fell off a cliff in Brighthoof. Alright, attempt 7. I managed to farm the Zomboss up to level 25. This time I multi-classed as a spell shot, because I discovered a build that is just way too strong for any mortal man to have the power to wield. Allow me to introduce you to the Delete spell. Its actual name is Cloudburst Arc Torrent, but I think you can guess why I call it the Delete spell. Because I chose spell shot, I can equip two delete spells, my spells crit 80% of the time, and the spell shot spell weaving increases the damage of my spells every time I cast a spell, which caps out at around a 250% damage bonus. Also, the Graveborn Capstone ability makes all of my kill skills activate whenever I cast a spell. So every time I cast a spell, my spell damage increases, I heal a lot, and my spell cooldown speed increases. Did I mention the Delete spell has 4 charges and a 7 second cooldown? So basically, I'm always casting spells and I constantly heal. 
Once I got the double delete spells, I didn't go into Save Your Soul for the entire run, and I didn't fire a single bullet. I made it to the Fear Med again, and this time I'm pretty sure I can't make that jump. Yeah, all I had to do was melee that crystal. I deleted hordes of skeletons just like every single other mission in the game, and I made it to the Dragon Lord. At first, I was easily uninstalling his health bar and demoting his minions to a memory, but then he started flying. Turns out the delete spell is an aneurysm 90% of the time if you try to hit something that's a few inches off the ground, so I had to... Oh god, I can't even say it. I had to use my gun. Well, I did it. I beat him. I won. But at what weird projectile cost?